we know that there's maybe 60 years of harvest left on the planet in the conventional farming systems. Could we look at something else? Could we look at some way of looking at this landscape in a different way? Something that we could you know, enhance it and feel proud about it. What about making it wild again? Isn't that exciting? The sort of land we're on is very heavy clay. It's the soil that is very, very difficult to farm commercially. Out of the 17 years that I was farming the land conventionally, we did make a couple of years profit. But you're using fungicides, you're using herbicides, you're using pesticides on the land, and your soil is dead. It's just dirt. Once we were going from conventional farming to the rewilded landscape, where you're a bit nervous about how you're going to make your money, how it's going to work. But there is no input, there's no, there's no grain, there is nothing being bought in. So the cost of production just drops away. I know that the production isn't huge, but it's what the land can sustain. It's what is able to, to live all year round without any supplementary feeding. And you've got these once domesticated animals now becoming more and more in tune with the landscape and living off that landscape without human intervention. The longhorn cattle are the, the Exmoor ponies, and then you've got your deer and your Tamworth pigs. When you've got all these animals running around in this sort of landscape, it begins to feel like scrubland in Africa. So when you see your longhorn, it doesn't look like a domesticated animal anymore because what your mind is saying, there is an animal in scrubland and it's wild. When you go out at dawn, you can feel your chest vibrating with the sheer volume of noise. I had never experienced any of that. That was the big difference. It was that noise level, that, that vibrant noise created by all these this life that I had absolutely no idea my land could feel and behave like that. It's been this huge wave of interest. Everyone wants to feel that it's possible to do something. And if you've got a real hope story that you can transform an agricultural desert into something which is very rich and biodiverse, it becomes all possible and something that you can do. We're on a crest of a wave and it's all beginning to feel like it's got a real momentum behind it.